video, I'm going to go over the actual resume that I used um, for my CRNA school application. Um, this might look a little bit different from resumes that you're used to seeing as it is only one page long. I definitely want it to be more succinct um, for this resume because for the application process for my school, they kind of asked um, me a lot of things about my activities and professional activities that I didn't want to necessarily repeat in depth on my resume, which is why my resume is so short. Um, so let's get started. At the top here, you're going to start off with your name. Um, I'm using Garamond and size 22 font for this portion. And then the BSN RN CCRN CSC. I made it smaller, so that's an 18 size font, still using the same type of Garamond. After that, you're going to put your address, email address, and make sure it's an appropriate email address to put on your resume, and then your telephone number. So, I started off with my professional experience. Some people start off with putting their school, um, but I did this because I felt like it's one of the more important parts of the resume because they already know that I mean, I should have my BSN already. It's a requirement. They already know my GPA and things like that. So I didn't think that education should necessarily um, come first. So I did all of my dates on the left-hand side so that it can be easily seen. I started off with the name of the company that I worked for and then the location after that. Some people put the name of their title that they had at the position that they held at the job first. I didn't hold any positions that were, you know, relevant like a manager or a charge nurse or CEO. So I figured I would put my position underneath that instead and italicize it. I did sentences instead of bullet points. I didn't want to add too much length to my resume, um, but I also didn't want to do paragraph four and words too hard to read. Um, so for this first one, performs in-home injection trainings of Capaxone for patients with relapsing remaining form of multiple sclerosis. Next bullet point, educates patients on proper injection techniques, injection site rotations, managing site reactions, and proper disposal of sharks. Because they are full sentences, I put periods. If they weren't full sentences, I would not have put periods there. So let's get on to um, the more, most important part of this resume, and that's going to be my CVICU experience. So at Strong Memorial Hospital, Level 1 Trauma Center located in Rochester, New York. So this is where I begin the bragging process. I wanted them to know that I wasn't just working in like some small community CVICU, but a Level 1 Trauma Center who as who's also received Beacon, the Beacon Award. So I put that it was a 14-bed CVICU, four-time AACN Beacon Award recipient. I also put that I was a staff nurse, and I'm level two at that point. I also told them what kind of patients that I cared for, when I cared for them, what kind of monitoring that I do. And then I added that I provide holistic care and while including that aspect of patient family education. Provides expert care of adult patients during the immediate post-operative period, utilizing advanced hemodynamic monitoring, diagnostic tests, medication administration, and patient family education. I probably would have included something about ventilator management, but I completely forgot about it. And here I continue bragging. Um, I served as a student nurse preceptor and member of new hire group. Um, Honored with Strong Star Awards for exceeding patient care expectations. Um, to make it easier and to save a lot of space, I utilize a three column system to highlight my CVICU skills. Okay, I still left out ventilator management in this section. Um, I don't think that it's something that I necessarily had to include, but it would have been nice to have it on here. Um, and I also probably would have included uh, titrating vasoax active medications instead of doing medication administration up here. So for my experience, I put open heart surgery recovery, intraaortic balloon pump, left ventricular assist device, the HeartMate 2 because there are several different kinds, um, valve replacements, heart failure, extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, continuous venovenous hemofiltration, cardiogenic shock, induced hyperthermia. I also put assistance with bedside tracheostomy slash chest tube insertion, pulmonary artery catheter and central line insertions, and emergent chest opening. 
So for these things down here for the experience, I didn't put down anything that I was not comfortable with talking um, to the admissions committee about. I did take care of heart transplant patients, but I only had, you know, a handful of them under my belt when I applied for CRNA school. So I didn't want to have to um, study that more in depth because I really didn't know that management as well as I knew these other things. So I left that off of my resume, even though I've done it before. Um, so there's that fine line between like bragging and then like doing too much bragging um, where you're going to get yourself in trouble during the interview process. So the next section is going to be licensure and certifications. Um, I also thought this was more important than education. Um, so I put the full name of the certification along with the expiration date. There are a lot of certifications and subspecialties and things like that nowadays, which is why I feel like it's important to put the entire name of these, um, because there's still some names and acronyms that I'm not completely sure what they mean. So just make sure you spell those out and then put the expiration date as well. So now education. Um, I also put the date on the left hand side as well to kind of keep that consistent throughout the resume it's actually um i had bachelors actually i fixed this because i did this video multiple times but i had bachelors of science and nursing this is actually bachelor of science in nursing um unless it's possessive and it's not the full name of the degree um so bragging points i included my latin honors i didn't put my gp on here for whatever reason um, I had a 3A. I don't know why I didn't write it down. But that kind of speaks for itself, putting the Latin honors there. Um, and then my graduation date of when I received that degree. So in the next section, I put my honors and awards. And then I did the leadership. In the grand scheme of things, I think I probably would have expanded upon this a little bit more like I did on my previous resume. I wanted to keep my resume at one page. Um... And I kind of talked about these things in my application. Um, and then I also wanted to be able to discuss those things in my interview if they asked about it because I didn't even include descriptions on it. But I, I feel like I probably should have um, expanded upon my leadership roles because they kind of were pretty significant. So the last portion of my resume is professional enrichment. Again, keeping um, consistent with the dates on the side. Um, I just wanted to show them that I'm involved in things outside of school and that I have been involved in things outside of school since I graduated. I truly think that getting involved is super duper important, especially as a, a future CRNA. So this is an optional section. I put that I completed the hemodynamics course, um, the critical care orientation course, and then I put my professional memberships and then my preceptorship I did my senior year. Um, I provided education, health screenings, and care to impoverished school-aged children in high upstate communities of Oleantan Tambo, Peru. Um, I probably should have highlighted this as my senior preceptorship, but I didn't. Um, it's kind of important um, that I did that as part of my schooling, um, so I should, probably should have put that in there somewhere. So literally, <laughs> this is my resume, and... If you notice, I did not go way, way back. I don't think that it was important for the admissions committee to know that I worked at Sears when I was 16 years old and I helped, you know, cash out people and find shoes. Um, so I started my experience when I became a nurse. Um, again, to keep my resume as short as it is and because I feel like those things aren't necessarily relevant. I'm sure they know I've had a job before then. Um, but in terms of like cutting it short like this, um, if you're going to do that, make sure there aren't any gaps though. Like I wasn't just going to not include this job and just have this one highlighted. Um, I just started it when I became a nurse because that's my professional nursing experience. Um, and that's what they're looking for, for CRNA school. So that's my take on it. Some people will go all the way back. I didn't have the time or the space for it. And I didn't think that those things were necessarily relevant enough for me to include them on my resume because I didn't do anything special for those little jobs that I had throughout college. 
So this is my resume. If you have any questions, feel free um, to leave your comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the new videos that I come out with. So I truly thank you for watching and I hope this, this helps you kind of structure your resume.